Hello, I'm Peter and I'm a software developer at Capture Components, the makers of CC Scan. CC Scan is available in two editions, Standard and Advanced. This screencast is about CC Scan Standard, which is known for its ability to scan paper documents directly into Salesforce Oryx, either as attachments or documents in content libraries. CC Scan is organized around jobs. Out of the box, CC Scan comes with a set of default jobs that get you started right away without having to create or customize anything. However, you can enter setup mode to configure what fields users should enter and set default values. You can also create new jobs. Let's start with scanning a document as an attachment to a standard Salesforce account record. In the name field, we use an automatically generated name with a so-called continuous counter macro. In the attach to record field, we need an ID of an account record. There are two ways to obtain this record ID. In the browser, the record ID is visible as part of the URL. You can drag and drop this URL to the attach to record field. You can also bring up the lookup dialog and CC scan and do a search for an account record. In this case, we select the capture components account record. Before we start the scan, we need to check the scanning parameters. Scanner setting means that CC scan will use the settings configured with the Twain dialog. You can also override those Twain settings. In this case, we force the pixel color to be black and white. Pressing Start Scan initiates the scan. Note the name of the new document, DEET15. If we now switch back to the browser and press the Refresh button, we will see DEET15 in the Notes and Attachment section. To show how easy it is to configure a job, let's customize a default scanning job for Salesforce content. The default library is My Personal Content, which is always present. Let me select a library that I created called Contracts. Note that CC Scan shows all the custom fields defined for this library. You can now decide which of these index fields the operator should enter and which fields to keep hidden but should have a default value. I will pick three fields for the operator to enter and set the invoice schedule to monthly. Let me save the job so we can run it. And I also need to put the paper back in the scanner. Note the post to group and post to record fields. With these fields, in addition to storing the document in the selected library, you can create a link to the document in the notes and attachment section of the selected records. Let's select the Capture Components account record again, since we have that open in the browser. Next. Enter the index fields and start the scan. Again, note the name of the document, which is Deed 16. And if we switch back to the browser, hit the refresh again, you will see Deed 16 as a feed attachment, basically a link, right, in the notes and attachment section. Okay, I hope this screencast gave you an idea of how CC Scan Standard can save you time scanning documents to Salesforce. To request a free trial version, please visit our website at capturecomponents.com. Thank you for your time.